Welcome to Fish and Magician TV with Dave Graybill. Brought to you by Hooked on Toys, Town Ford, Lyle's Boats, Grand Cooley Dam Area Chamber of Commerce, Cooley Playland, Battery Systems, Bob File Boats and Motors, Lake Pateras Inn, and Gaboon Productions. Look at that. Huh? Isn't oh, that a nice Jim. Beauty. Today, I'm in Southern Oregon, not far from Klamath Falls, at the Pronghorn Ranch. I am the guest of a good friend, Jim Teeny, and Jim and I have known each other for over 30 years. Yes. But Jim, this is the first time that we've been able to spend some time together. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. It's just going to be a lot of fun. It should be. You know, Jim told me about this lake uh, when I saw him, I think in January, and he said, Dave, we got to plan a trip down here. I think you'll enjoy it. And it's noted for rainbow trout and some big ones. Yeah, there's, there's definitely double digits in here. So, you know, we don't know whether we're going to get one or not, but by gosh, we're going to try. <laughs> That's right. You know, we've had a pretty good uh, weather conditions uh, coming down here. I saw sunny skies in Klamath Falls this morning on my drive up. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. And uh, Jim, uh, of course, will have a great selection of his teeny nymphs. Now, teeny nymphs, that was the birth of a company that's been around now for 42 years. Yes, yeah. It, it's, uh, it was amazing. I originally tied the pattern up for East Lake in Central Oregon, mm -hmm. up in the Newberry Crater. And uh, the fly from its first cast produced for me. <laughs> and, uh, I, and then we kept the fly a secret for nine years and then started our business July 1 of 1971. That's and, terrific. And, and now it's much more than a teeny nymph. Well, it really is. Yeah, we've got different colors and varieties and fly lines and everything. You know, I mean, that, but that's what got me into the industry and, and into fly fishing. And I'm just so thankful and grateful that it did. That's, that's just terrific. And I tell you what, uh, later on in the program, I'm going to have Jim show you some of these tremendous variety of flies that uh, started off with that basic teeny nymph and also some of the lines that he's introduced to the market too that are built just for this type of fishing. So uh, later on we're going to look at some of the flies, some of the um, lines that are being used and we'll talk about the uh, techniques that we will be applying to fishing here at the Pronghorn Ranch. Well Jim's just scattering some gear out of the back end of his truck and uh, looks like what you've got is not a uh, tube, but a uh, YouTube setup. Is that right? Yeah, it's a <clears throat> it's a model number uh, 420. It's uh, made by Creek Company, and they're out of Steamboat Springs, uh, Colorado. And uh, Chris Timmerman is the owner of the company. And I remember when he first bought it many years ago, and we just became good friends. But this is really lightweight, easy to get in and out of, uh, very safe and uh, and uh, very durable so I've, I've been uh, this is what our what we use because it's just easy and you know to transport in and out and everything well the so. YouTubes do go through the water with a lot more ease than uh, the old uh, tubes yeah. and also as you say getting in and out I swear I was gonna break my arm trying to get out of my old float tube one of those times so oh man that's well, a great setup well, my dad and I, back in the 70s, we bought the first float tubes that were ever made, and they were made out of, Wichita, uh, I think they were made in Wichita, Kansas, and they were green canvas, and they had plastic rudders that would put on your feet, and they were like little flaps like this, oh. and you went absolutely nowhere. Oh my <laughs> I mean, goodness. But, but that was the beginning of them, and, the, and the, the canvas was very heavy, they held water, uh, they've come a long ways in, in uh, float tubes and pontoon boats now. Absolutely. Well, this is a great setup. I'm going to give you a hand getting those pumped up. We'll be on the water soon. Okay. But I'd like to uh, uh, tell you what we're using today and, and, uh, and tomorrow. 
we're using our 9 foot and 10 foot uh, Jim Teeny signature rods made by TFO for me. Uh, we're using a uh, 6 weight rod and then there's three lines that we there's three lines that I fish almost all the time in lake fishing. Number one is my favorite is our five foot mini tip. And then uh, when we want to do coronamid fishing with the nymphs just under the surface, we'll use our phantom tip in the five foot uh, camel clear. And then when we need to get deeper, we'll go to our T-130, which has 24 feet of very fast sinking line. So we can cover from just under the surface to the middle to the bottom and that gives us at all depths so we can find out where the zone is the fish are in and then that's what we do once we, f we figure them out then we just got to change the the teeny nymph to our leech to color and size and then we start hooking fish so but that's a good system it works it's consistent works on all the lakes and i know it'll work for you wow it is a beauty oh good Yeah, you changed your pattern. I did. You changed up. This one looks like it could go four or five pounds. Oh, oh, I almost had it. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Oh, that's a great fish. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Nice quality fish. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. Way to go. Woohoo! <laughs> At least we broke the ice. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there. Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Nice color. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's great. Wow. That's about as hard a hit as, as you can get. <laughs> he grabbed it. Good. Oh, that's good. Look at that big tail. Hang on there. Whoa. You got it? Yeah, very nice. Do it. Well, let me show you. This is um, 
the original size of the first teeny nymph. This is on one of our custom hooks. It's a size eight. And I'm gonna tie up a fly with the ring neck pheasant tail feather. And I wanna show you that what I did is I put a, a thread base here and notice that I'm using white thread. We found that the colored heads are so deadly on fish, uh, not just trout and bass and everything else, but steelhead and salmon. So uh, we use white, we use orange, we use blue. Uh, we've used red, we've used chartreuse. So what I did is I, I secured the pheasant feathers in the butt of the fly, and now I'm gonna wrap them around like this at an angle going forward. That way you don't have loose fibers there, and then I'm gonna hold it down like this, and then at this point, I take my thread, I go over the eye and in back of the fibers, and then I pull forward. And then from there, that's when I start to form the head, like this. And by pulling the feathers forward like I did there, you see if I don't tie them back, they stay like this, but we want them to tuck in. So what I'll do is I pull them forward. Now it's much easier to build a significant head because you want that thread to show and you want the white to show. Now see how they all lay back and they're all angled? And then I come over and our fly tires, they use the, um, the whip finish, but I'm an old half hitcher and, uh, and I do a double. And then at this point, and we always put head cement on just so you know, but I'm just going to show you this one. Now that, that right there has been really, really a deadly fly for us in lakes. And uh, the trout love it, and I know that it's going to work really good on this trip. There's no question. That's a single body, teeny nymph with a white head. Now I'm going to show you another one that we could do. And I'll do it in black. And I'll do it on a, I'll do it on a size uh, six, which is the next next size bigger. And our custom hooks are made by Eagle Claw for us in Colorado. And I designed these back in the early 70s, and they've been so strong and so sharp that a lot of other fly tires and guides and outfitters are using them for other patterns. You know, but the because they know the hooks are strong. So what I'm going to do right now is let's see, I'm going to find a black feather like this one here and I just strip a little bit of the fibers off like that just to get basically to get those short ones out and then I then I'll pull up I'm gonna pull up like a group of feathers and line them up and I want to make the tail about the same length as the I don't want it to be too long so I kind of pre-measure it and then I set this on here Take a few wraps like this, just enough to secure it. You know, because you don't want the fibers and the feathers, you know, pulling out the back end. Then I'll take and grab some more of these, strip them off, and try to line up the butt sections as close as possible, you know, as I can. And then I just barely trim them off right here. Because just so you know, the number six hook like this requires really good long fibers these pheasant fibers to, to go the full length. And then at that point, I skip forward and I spread these fibers out, go around once and twice, and I check the length and I'm able to go three. And then I go over the eye and then back of the feathers and I take my thumb and then I pull it forward like this. And then I start wrapping the head like this. And this becomes just because I've used our special size A thread, which is really hard to break, this now is not just a, a teeny leech, it's a egg sucking leech. You see, just by changing the color of the thread, you change what the fly looks like. And by doing that, I mean, it makes an amazing pattern. And if you want, and we've been doing it on some, we stick a little bit of crystal flash in the tail when we tie it. So have a little bit of sparkle back there, and you could do blue, you could do gold, you could do silver, you could do any of the, you know any of the the colors, uh, and you could do it this way, and it's deadly effective, or you could do it with the flash in there, and so there's that pattern, and then there's one more that I'd like to tie up, and and it's really an absolute killer, and all you'd have to do is ask my wife Donna because she. <laughs> literally hammered them and I, I didn't know how this fly was going to work or not and so uh, but I tied it up and I thought boy it looks really really good 
And so we were out one morning here, and we had to till noon to fish at Pronghorn. And I, t I said, honey, why don't you put this on? And she was using our five-foot phantom tip, which is that kind of like a coronamid, slow-sinking, you know, camo-type line on the tip. And I says, put this one on. I says, I think it could be really good. Well, she never took it off, and in two and a half hours, I watched her hook and release uh, I think was uh, between 10 and 12 trout. I couldn't keep track. And they were all between 5 and 12 pounds. I mean, it was phenomenal. She was on fire. And uh, and it was all with this fly because there was a point where I just didn't even have to ask her if she had it on or not, you know, what she was using. Because I knew it was this fly. And this body that I just put on there is... Uh, it's a it's a body braid and it's woven in and it's really really cool because um, the body braid is very durable and by putting the blue thread base and then the body braid over it then it really uh, shines through nicely so now I'm gonna take black when this fly is finished it's just beautiful I mean it really really is a great pattern so I clip that off Take this and secure this. Everything I do, because we're using size A thread, I can do very, very securely. Wrap this around like that. Go over by the fibers and back. And then keep the fibers bent back like this. And then form this blue head. And this has been a magnificent fly. And just to let you know, this is a size 8. But when we go after Spring Chinook and some of our streams on the Oregon coast and in Washington, we, we use this pattern in different colors, you know, like this and whatever. Um, and we use it in a size six. And when the water's low and clear and the fish are spooky, they love this fly. You don't throw the big flies, just throw this little one. But this right here is our sparkle nymph and it's in the black, and you can do it in antique gold, you can do it in uh, ginger, you can do it in insect green, natural, whatever. But this is the fly that my wife was using, and these are the patterns that we'll be fishing with here on Pronghorn Lake. <laughs> Ooh, I love that drag. <laughs> When he came out of the water, that uh, that's a big one. He's a good fish. He's good. He was a long ways too and he looked big. Yeah. When he, when he jumped? Yeah. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just a strong fish. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess I'm happy. That woke you up, didn't it? Oh man, I was about ready to fall asleep. <laughs> Did you hear me yawning? Yes. I just needed a tug. There he is. Oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> Come on, baby. Is your net big enough? I don't know. I'm not sure really. I think it is, but oh my god, it's a beauty. Oh. 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 He's in the net, buddy. Oh, That's great. a nice fish. That is a fish and a half. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not holding him by the right way on the tail, but look, look at, at that. that. Huh? Isn't oh, that a nice Jim. Beauty. That is a gorgeous fish. There the hook's out. There it is. Monster! Hey, hey that's what we're after. Man, that's great. <laughs> well done. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs>
Fishing in our region has never been better, and if you aren't equipped for it, you're missing out. Bob File Boats and Motors has a great lineup of boats made for fishing in our region, like Kingfisher, Smokercraft, and Aluma Weld, and they can find one to fit any fishing style or budget. They have all the accessories too, like electronics from Loran. They can take care of you from stem to stern. Bob File Boats and Motors on Sunset Highway in East Wenatchee. Bob File's gonna make you smile. Hi, I'm Dave Grayville, the Fish and Magician, and I'm sitting in front of the Lake Pateras Inn. Lake Pateras Inn is one of the most convenient places you can stay if you like to fish for salmon or steelhead on the Upper Columbia River. You can moor your boat at the dock, or there are two ramps within yards. They have outdoor power so you can charge your electric motor. Rooms are clean and comfortable and very affordable. Everything you need is right here at the Lake Pateras Inn. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built Ford Tough Truck Event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built Ford Tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a beauty. This could rival our biggest one. Oh, God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, he's beautiful. Close. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big one. Nice fish. They're so hard to control. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is a beauty. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Well, here he goes. That's a, that's probably at least seven, eight pounds. That's what I'm thinking. It's got to be eight pounds. There he goes. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Here's a view of our cabin here at Pronghorn Ranch. As you can see, there's plenty of room for a couple of anglers. We got views of the lake out of our windows here. And also we've got nice big kitchen area, refrigerator, coffee maker, microwave, everything you need for a great weekend here at fishing at Pronghorn Ranch. That guy's all over the surface. Yeah. No, it's, a, it's a nice fish. Good. This a, in my in my good position? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus. It's another big one. Oh, he's right there. It's a big trout. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 get him. Oh, <laughs> he almost yeah. didn't fit. Huh? I know what I had to, had to nurse him into that net. Wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that is a brute. Is beauty? The goal of battery systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. 
I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Graybill, and I choose battery systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a battery systems product expert in a location near you, log on to batterysystems.net. The Evan Root e -Tech. It's a dream come true. For e -Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyle's Boats and Motors in Kashmir. Gaboon Productions LLC is a full-service video production company right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Gaboon is a term coined by my grandfather, commercial fishing in Alaska. It's when a bunch of fish hit your net all at the same time. We capture life as you see it. From filming those special moments to catching something big, Gaboon Productions LLC can record it, edit it, and save it for you forever. We do weddings, theater productions, concerts, reunions, commercials, and more. Go to GaboonProductions.com on the web, check us out on Facebook, and on YouTube. Gaboon Productions LLC, the little video company capturing your big moments. There he is. Another big one, another nice one, you know. Oh, yeah. Jesus, get my ass in there. No. Come on. They're not. Oh my goodness. They're not easy to get in that net. This is like not a good net. <laughs> well, that's a beauty. Oh my goodness. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, that he's ready to go. Okay. There you go. Nice. Thank you. Look at that. Ain't that a monster? Yes. I'm trying to get the fly out. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a big. This is probably at least nine pounds. Yeah. It's really, really big. Way to go. Thank you. Yeah, it was very. That's a, it was a. It hit the uh, the white head. Well, we're about to say goodbye to the Pronghorn Ranch and the great fishing. And Jim, the great company. Oh, it was I fun. I just have to tell you, it was so much fun. Well, you know what? Time with you. Uh, well, that goes two ways. But we had uh, two days of, uh, you know, we, we worked for them, but by gosh, we caught some nice fish. We did. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, in particular, we yeah. spent a lot of time on the water. We were I on the know. water at 6:30. Yeah. And we caught fish all day long we know. did it yeah it was, was one really of those fun. really nice days just enough action to keep you going and the size of those trout were pretty impressive oh. we caught a couple of fish that were maybe 15 to 18 inches i think we had two of those uh-huh the rest of the fish were all five to nine pounds yeah that's impressive very impressive yeah. fish and when these fish hit there's no mistake about it <laughs> my we were we were God. commenting on that weren't we i know yeah and jim handed me a leader he said dave you don't want to use anything less than eight pound here and i said what <laughs> he said wait till you see how these fish hit and i would have if anything less i would have been breaking fish off on the strike i sure. would have too yeah these are very powerful very aggressive Hard fighting fish, tremendous. Do you think we should come back? I think the Pronghorn Ranch is going to see us back again <laughs> sometime. Right. Well, thanks, thanks so much for everything. I'm glad that we put it together after all these years. We got to spend time on the water. Absolutely. Tell Mike thanks for me, and I'll be calling him and sending him an email too. And anybody that wants to find out about the Pronghorn Ranch, just go to the web and just search for pronghorn ranch fly fishing and you'll find it and you get all the details about how you could plan a trip down here too there's there's a lot of double digits in here 
We didn't get those guys this trip, but we'll get them next. <laughs> You've caught them, and I know Danny Rickard's out here, and I know he's caught two fish out of this lake over 20 pounds. Absolutely. So yeah. they're here waiting for you, the Pronghorn Ranch. Thanks for watching Fish and Magician TV with Dave Graybill. Brought to you by Gaboon Productions, Lake Pateras Inn, Bomb File Boats and Motors, Battery Systems, Cooley Playland, Grand Cooley Dam Area Chamber of Commerce, Lyle's Boats, Town Ford, and Hooked on Toys.